In this video, we're uh, showing what picturesolve.com can do with uh, severely blurred pictures. Uh, here on the uh, left hand side, you can see an original picture which has been blurred. Actually, it's a segment out of a picture uh, in the background which is out of the plane of focus. And this causes each small spot on the picture to be spread into a disc. And it's very clearly shown here as three red discs uh, showing up as taillight uh, um, highlights which have been smeared out. Well, the software here is set up in such a way that uh, we are dynamically reconstructing the inverse filtered image in which we model each uh, point spread function as a uh, disc over here on the uh, right hand bottom corner and we dynamically uh, alter the radius of the function uh, as we watch the reconstruction of the picture on the right hand side of the screen. So I pick up the uh, I pick up the uh, <coughs> slide control here which controls the radius of the function and I'll move it down from a 12 pixel radius slowly down through uh, 10 and below. And you can see as you alter the radius of the picture, the uh, nature of the reconstruction changes. And there you see it go through a uh, range of results. And it's quite obvious where the uh, optimum is with some trial and error. Now here's a, a wonderful illustration of how the speed of a computer can be used to qual uh, qualitatively improve the result. Uh, here we have the final result here at uh, let's say 8.5 pixel radius and the uh, reconstruction here looks quite good. You can see the tires, you can see the bumper of the uh, vehicle and interestingly you can see how each of the highlights uh, in the picture have been reduced from a disk down to a an approximation of a point source which is uh, uh, confirmation really that uh, the reconstruction is uh, is valid so uh, this is uh, this is typical of many of the examples that we look at uh, where um, the operator is able to m mold the point spread function dynamically and arrive at, a, at an interesting result it's not only uh, out of focus uh, that can be handled as in this case, but uh, linear motion or more complicated motions too, which often crop up in uh, blurred imagery.